Oh, what's up, you guys? Void here coming back at you. I wanted to go over some latest news here. We're going to be talking about the new logo that Wizards of the Coast is trying to push for Magic. And it's quite obvious why they're doing it. They have Arena that's going to be coming out, and they want to give a brand new look for Magic. They want to appeal to a whole new market of online gamers as opposed to the typical paper card game players. I can completely understand that. From a marketing stance, you want to appeal to as many people as possible, and you also want to grab their attention. So let's go over the history of the logo here so we have some context as to why they're changing it, and just sort of how drastically it's changed, which you'll see here, it really hasn't changed too much. The first one we have here is the 1993-1999 to one, which... If it looks familiar, it's because if you look and you turn over your cards, it's the same exact lettering, sort of like a crystal blue look to the lettering, and it has like an orange border to it. Looks nice. Uh, as you can see, there's a badass looking wizard dude there. Very old artwork, but it is 1993. Kind of expect it. Then after that, we saw sort of the lettering, the logo that kind of carried on for the longest period of time, and it was from 1999 to 2015. Yellow with the red border, the one that we pretty much recognize as Magic the Gathering throughout the modern era not really changed at all. The only thing that changed about it was the lettering. And from a marketing stance, you have to understand, blue is a lot harder for the untrained eye to spot. Whereas if you're going to be marketing to people who are buying card games, uh, going through the aisles at Walmart, getting ready to check out, they're not going to be looking at the blue colors as often they're going to be drawn to the red colors that's just naturally what our eyes do we go to what is more aggressive and red is a more aggressive color this is yellow with red outlined but it's very similar yellow is also kind of aggressive and it's it's all over if you go and you look for products and just packaging and things in general you're going to notice they use color to their benefit more often than not and wizards of the coast has definitely done that with magic then we go on to the third one which only lasted about three years it's not even done yet 2015 to 2018 the orange with a white border kind of logo it's a little bit different because it's not just like a solid color like the last two kind of were. This kind of has like a shimmer with it, almost like it's foil or it's like a flame or something like that. Only lasted for a few years. The last packaging that we're going to be getting with this logo on it is going to be from Rivals of Ixalan. That's going to be it. Not really bad though. I think it's a little bit more on point with their marketing strategy. They want their logo to be visible to just about everybody. And then we move on to the latest edition of the Magic logo, and that is the one that we're going to be getting in 2018 with the release of Dominaria. As you can see, it is white, silvery, it's very different. The M isn't oversized, it doesn't overhang in the front, it's about the same size as the other letters in the word. And the gathering, again, it's underneath the word as it was before, but at the same time, it's done in a different format. But as you can see, the biggest difference, though, is that they're putting that stupid Planeswalker logo on all of the products now. And, of course, this obviously implies they're going to be putting it on Magic Arena and their online games, whatever they want to do. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. I hate this symbol. It's sort of their way of trying to use logos to push their brand which I'm not usually against but the fact that they're doing it this late in their product life cycle it's obvious that you're trying to make it more noticeable you're trying to make it more iconic but really nobody gives a fuck about the symbol they really don't most people don't even know it means planeswalker they just think it's just the the magic logo oh, there it is there's another logo for magic it doesn't really mean anything it just kind of it's there and that's about it. I think it references like the chain veil or something. I don't know. And quite frankly, I don't care. It's stupid. It doesn't mean anything. But then again, they needed a logo to kind of put on their products aside from just putting Jace on literally everything if Gideon's not available. I think it's bearable. And again, if you're wondering, this still doesn't change the actual logo on the back of your cards. That is going to be the same until the end of time or until they ever decide that hey just about everybody who plays this game uses sleeves and only madmen don't use sleeves so why are we going to bother just not changing the backs of cards if we're gonna errata everything we might as well just errata the back of the cards anyway so again that's just my two cents i'm not a big fan of it but then again it really doesn't matter it's a fucking logo who really cares 
I like the old school logo and it's pretty cool that we still have it on the backs of the cards. So I'm just going to settle for that. But anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about the logo. Let me know what you think about the changes in Magic recently with the rules changes. I'll get onto that in the next video. But anyway guys, have a wonderful day. Void here signing off.